Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, some of you uh, during that series of, of uh, videos on nitrates suggested that I should test the water in my tap. I had tested it about a year or two ago and it was coming out at zero parts per million. So I didn't really give it much, much attention. But um, I went ahead and followed your advice. And uh, I do listen to you. <laughs> so I followed your advice. I went ahead and did some tests on the tap. And uh, I want to show you what happened. And I want to show you why I'm feeling a little bit better about what's been going on with these tanks. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like the content in this channel, be sure to hit that bell, sub, rate, and all that good stuff. You are appreciated. Let's get underway. For this example, I'm going to use the Tetra 6-in-1 Easy Strips. All you do is dip them in the water for uh, one second, and then you just lay them, uh, lay them flat for a minute, and uh, you don't shake the water off. You just let it sit there for a minute, and then you, do, you take your reading. So after a minute, what I did is I, uh, I went ahead and checked, and I noticed that my tank is running, and this is the day before a water change. I'm running at about 40. I'm uh, not quite 20, but not quite 80. To, the, to my eye, not sure if it's going to come across on the camera, it looks pretty much like right around 40 parts per million. Then what I wanted to do is I wanted to see what's coming out of the tap. Let's take a look at the tap. Now, I match temperature because that way I'm getting water from the different sources that I would get that go into my, into my aquarium. Who knows, maybe the hot water heater is adding nitrates to the, to the water. I don't know. But you match it to get a more accurate reading. Hold it under there for at least a second. And uh, again, lay it down somewhere. Don't shake the water off. Just lay it down for, for 60 seconds. I then take the reading, and to my surprise, where previously I was getting zero nitrates, I'm getting at around, it looks like, somewhere between the zero and the 20. So it looks to me like I'm, I'm actually getting around 10 nitrates out of my tap where previously I used to get zero. Now this actually uh, changes things to a certain degree. So let's say for the sake of simplicity that we start with a 50% water change, and we do that on a routine basis. When you're putting tap water in after 50% water change, that's zero parts per million nitrates into a tank with 40 parts per million, you're gonna end up with about 20 parts per million of nitrate or NO3. Now let's say that you have 10 parts per million and you do a 50% water change on a tank that's at 40 parts per million. The dilution is going to end up at about 25 parts per million of nitrates. Now, let's say you're at 50 parts per million and you're putting in water that's 10 parts per million. Again, this is going to dilute down higher than if you're doing or providing water from a zero parts per million tap. Here we end up after a 50% water change at 30 parts per million. Now, imagine over time, you're staying at 50%, but your stock is getting larger, you're adding fish, and you're adding food. Your starting point in your tank is gonna progressively get higher. So, my advice is this. If you're getting a nitrate reading out of your tap, I would suggest for every 10 parts per million out of your tap, add another 10% to the water change. So in my case, 10 parts per million out of the faucet, Instead of a 50% water change, I'm going to do a 60% water change. That should allow me to keep up with the nitrate creep that will occur over time as my fish grow or I add stock and things of that nature. And of course, from time to time, periodically, I am going to test to see where I'm at. So there you have it. That's what's been going on to some degree. And over time, there would naturally be an accumulation. And so by adjusting my water changes, by also tweaking the uh, amount of, of food that I'm putting into these tanks, that situation is now under control. So thank you so much for uh, those of you who went through this little nitrate adventure with me. I appreciate it. And uh, be sure to come by on Saturdays. We'll talk about it some more at the uh, Cichlids and Coffee live stream. And uh, visit on Instagram at ben.o.cichlid and on Facebook at Ben O apostrophe Cichlid. You are appreciated, you know that. Thank you so much for stopping by.